Welcome back everybody. Today we are discussing using the NCES approved Casio calculator. Part 1. Let us begin. The first question is, what is the value of the following integral? So we have the integration from 0 to 1 to the square root of x plus 1. Now instead of doing this integral by hand and use u substitution, okay, um, we can do it using our calculator to save our valuable time. So we can go to the uh, integration notation and we input uh, the square root alpha, then x plus 1 you go down from 0 to 1 and you press equal so it's 1.218 so uh, the value is between 1 to 2 so our answer is B the next question what is the slope of the following curve when it crosses the positive part of the x-axis okay so uh, we need to find the slope and the slope uh, basically, it's y prime of the function at a certain point. So that point is when it crosses the positive part of the x-axis. Now, in order for us to know when this function crosses the x-axis, that means the y value equal to 0. So we need now to find the root of this equation so we can do it using our calculator so first we go to mood then we go to number five equations now uh, our equations uh, it is similar to for number three which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero so you press three now the coefficient a which is with x squared is two you press equal with b it's negative one and with C, it's negative 6. You press equal, another equal. So X1 equal 2 and X2 equal 1.5. And because it's positive, that means our function look something like that. And this point is negative 1.5. And this point is plus 2. So we need the slope at this point and like what we said it's the derivative of our function at that point which is x equal to so again simply we can use our calculator we go back to the computation mode shift and the derivative sign and we input 2 alpha x squared minus alpha x minus 6 so we need the derivative when x equal 2 you press equal and this is 7 so the slope equal to 7 the next question is what is the solution of the following system of linear equations so we have system of linear equation and we need to solve it again we go back to our calculator we go to the modes we go again to equation which is number five for system of linear equation we can use number two because we have three unknown and the three equations just be careful that it should match the way that it is presented here so the constant it's after the equality sign okay so this is number two so a is four 2, 6, and 3. We have 8, 4, negative 4, and 8. We have 8, negative 2, 6, and 6. So we press equal. The x value is 0 0.875, which matches C. Another equal y is 0 0.125 and z is negative 1.25 and this is c the next one knowing that j equal the square root of negative 1 which of the following is equal to 2 plus 2j squared divided by 1 minus j squared 
Now, there is two ways to solve uh, this uh, expression. So, um, either you expand it, okay, then you know that j squared equal to negative 1, and then you will cancel uh, the items from top and bottom, and you will have your answer. Or you simply you can use your calculator, but you need to go to the complex mode. So you go to the complex mode, which is number two. So we have two plus two i squared divided by one minus i squared and that is negative 4 which is a next one for point negative 5 and 7 so this is x and y from the cartesian coordinate system what is the corresponding polar coordinates uh, now again if you go to page 36 you will find the polar coordinate system uh, how you will uh, uh, do it okay but again you need to pay uh, to pay attention for the angle and the, the rotation and your vector and you need to make sure your vector in which um, quadrant okay um, or simply you can use your calculator you can use the polar function so you go shift let's go back to the normal mode so shift polar and we input negative 5 comma and 7 we press equal so r is 8.6 and theta equal 125 so we have 8.6 and 125.5 so our answer is c